The browser company is back with a new app to try and revolutionize the internet on your mobile this time. The Arc browser is honestly one of the best browsers I've ever used. And so I was really excited when they launched a new mobile version a couple months ago, but it ended up not being that good, honestly. So you can imagine how excited I was when they finally announced a new product for mobile on Sunday. It's called Arc Search, and they say it's the first step to a brand new browser for your phone, which is super promising. I've been using it for a few days only, and it's honestly already the best browser on my phone. So that, that just tells you a lot. It's just missing a nice little widget for iOS, but I can wait a little more, it's fine. The tagline is find everything faster and yeah, honestly, I can see it. It has a few really cool things going for it, like the fact that it blocks all the pop-ups, ads, and even GDPR banners, which are really, really annoying. It also has a super clean, minimal design and auto-archives old tabs. But the real highlights here are just these two little features. They're small, but they're honestly life-changing. The first one is that every time you open the app, it goes straight into the search bar with the keyboard up so that you're ready to start searching. It's such an obvious and honestly stupid thing, but it does really make a difference. The only other app I can think of that actually does this is Google Search Widget on iOS, but this should be standard everywhere. Nine times out of ten, when I'm opening a browser, it's to search for something. So just, just put me straight into the search. The second feature and the real game changer here is the Browse For Me button. When I first saw it, I wasn't too excited about it, to be honest. I just thought this was another one of those tiny little side features that don't really matter. but. This is it. This is the real game changer right here. Basically, it gets AI to actually search the internet for you, read all the top links, and create a brand new web page to answer all the questions that you might have. I actually used Arc Search to make this video, so I'm just going to read through some of the main points because, I mean, it's just... It's just good, you know? Let's open the app. We're straight into the search bar and you can already see I already searched for Axe Search in this case, so I'm just going to click on Browse for Me. And here, it gets the AI to start browsing the internet. It pulls up some of the top web pages. The animations are really nice, and that was actually really fast. And so details about the Arc Search app. Okay, cool. And at the top, it pulled up a bunch of images from all across the web, I imagine, to show me what it is. So here, what is this app? App name, Arc Search, availability, available for iOS devices. Okay, cool. Hopefully for Android soon. It showed me some of the main features. It shows the reviews. So 4.5 out of 5 on the App Store with positive user feedback. So that means it actually went to the App Store to get this information, it shows me the price. And if I want to dig deeper, I have a couple search results. So I actually have the links here so I can go through it. It shows me some of the key features with some nice little emojis and stuff, and also the source from where it got it from. User reviews, which I guess is pulling from the App Store. Yes, positive feedback, regular updates, recent reviews, recent updates, and a bunch of links if I want to dive deeper. When I first read about it, I wasn't really sure about this. I wasn't really sure how good this feature is going to be. Like, is this just chat GPT in a browser. But I think what really makes the difference here is just the amount of web pages that it reads in order to create this new content and honestly, the quality of the summary that it creates. It's really not just a summary. It actually goes in depth on the topic. It breaks things down for you and it gives you links to actually explore and dig even deeper on the topic by yourself. But most importantly, it also embeds quotes, images and videos from other places to give you the best possible answer to your question. I had actually done this exact search before, the results are never exactly the same. It's never the same web page. It even pulled up a bunch of quotes from Reddit users giving their thoughts on the new Arc Search app. Honestly, let me just give you a couple more examples. Let's do, yeah, Hey Email versus Superhuman, which is another video you can watch on here that I used Arc Search to help me for. All right, Hey Email versus Superhuman, a bunch of images again. Actually, a bunch of GIFs also. A detailed comparison. So we go through the pricing. Cool. I got a couple more search results that I can go through. Some paragraphs here about pricing, user experience, AI features on both or comparing both, mobile apps comparing both. Here there's an actual quote from uh, another blog and a bunch of links to dig even deeper. All right, let's just do a new one. I'm just going to search for my own company just to see what it pulls. Uh, I'm just going to do busy.co just to make sure and browse for me. Let's see what it finds. So it pulls out from the website, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, even Crunchbase. So this is from our website. These are screenshots. Yeah, this is all from a website. What services does busy.co offer for content production? So project posting, proposal review, payment systems, project management. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty good. This is pretty correct. Task organization, collaborators. Oh yeah, so filmmakers, makeup artists, photographers, dancers. There's also a whole section about equipment, which is true. Camera rentals, video gear, lens options, gear sharing, additional services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this one is pretty cool. I'm going to ask, like, let, let's ask a question, actually. How to make a YouTube video? 
let's see browse for me so a bunch of different websites how to make a youtube video all right cool images start by researching your video topic then plan your video content i'm just going through it really fast right there's a little quote here from wikihow check current trends before you create a video on youtube yeah i mean this is this is pretty good to be honest this this is pretty good actually the other day i just made a quick search for like a little disease the results were really accurate and not only did it give me more information but it had actually accurate images to go along with that and it included a bunch of topics like what to do is it deadly or not what sort of cream should you use what should you do if you have this what are the symptoms and all these different things right so this is a really good starting point for pretty much any search or any sort of research you might do on the internet if it doesn't actually answer all the questions you might have directly in the summary it probably gives you all the links you need to keep going with your search and ask follow-up questions. Honestly, really impressive and completely changes the way you think about doing a search online. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It does really help me a lot and it also makes sure that you don't miss out on future videos like this one because if you're watching, I assume you liked it and so, you know, subscribe. I can honestly see all the potential of this app and can't wait for Arc to add more features and keep improving on it. Once it starts syncing with the main browser on Arc desktop, this could really be huge. This could really be it, honestly. And by the way, exciting news, Arc is finally starting to slowly release Arc on Windows. So thank the Lord. In any case, you should definitely watch this next video where I compare the main Arc browser on desktop to Sigma OS. There are two new gen browsers which are currently the most innovative companies in the space, in my opinion, and completely revolutionized the way that you and I think about the internet. I promise it's a good video. Please watch it. In the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace. I just wanted to say one piece at the end because I'm a huge Goda fan and sorry, talk to you soon.